In September 2003, the United Nations gave authorization for the establishment of a peacekeeper mission to the West African country of Liberia, which, only several weeks before, has signed a peace agreement to bring an end to the nation's second civil war since 1989. Among the many countries contributing military personnel to the mission was Ireland, whose government in November of 2003 committed a task force of 450 service personnel from the Irish Army to ensuring the peace agreement was upheld. Starting from the 19th of November, the first contingent of this force deployed to the country, including 40 members of the Army Ranger Wing, which is the Special Forces Unit of the Irish Army. Collectively, the 40 Rangers were grouped under a unit designated as the Special Operations Task Group, that was based in Camp Clara on the outskirts of the Liberian capital city of Monrovia and acting as the quick reaction force for the UN mission. In addition to this role, the Rangers were tasked with providing humanitarian aid to the local population, conducting long-range reconnaissance patrols into remote areas where the regular peacekeepers couldn't reach, as well as providing security for the United Nations convoys. Tragically, it was whilst conducting the latter task that the Irish force suffered their first fatality, when, on the 27th of November, a Land Rover 110, crewed by three rangers, lost control and tumbled down a steep embankment, resulting in two of the rangers becoming wounded, and sadly claiming the life of Sergeant Derek Mooney, who has served with the Army Ranger Wing since the mid-1990s. Despite this unfortunate setback, the Irish contingent to the Peacekeeper mission continued forward, and by the 17th of December, the bulk of the 450-man task force was assembled in Liberia. For the remainder of 2003, the Irish troops carried out their peacekeeping duties without incident, with the focus being on winning the hearts and minds of the civilian population to ensure the support for regional militias declined, which in the long term would bring back stability to the war-torn country. However, in early January of 2004, the United Nations Peacekeeping Force received information on a hostage situation unfolding near the town of Yekepa in the north of Liberia. Speaking on the intelligence afterwards, Commandant Brian Cleary, a spokesman for the Irish Defence Forces, stated that Locals reported that there were more than 30 people being held against their will by a local militia group near the town of Yekepa, with claims of beatings and rapes being inflicted upon them whilst in captivity. How long the hostages have been held for up to that time isn't known for certain, although it's estimated to have ranged from a few days, extending up to a week. Nonetheless, the nature and seriousness of the situation meant immediate action had to be taken, and on the 6th of January 2004, a force of 20 Irish Rangers from the Special Operations Task Group were ordered to conduct a rescue operation to free the hostages. Following a mission briefing on the morning of the 6th, the 20 Rangers at 1200 loaded up onto an Mi-26 helicopter from the 56th Separate Helicopter Detachment of the Ukrainian Armed Forces and took off for the village of Gabarpa, which they reached in the early afternoon. On touching down, the rangers disembarked from the aircraft, formed up and began making their way to the target location, which intelligence had identified to be situated on the outskirts of Yekepa. Advancing forward into the late afternoon, the Irish troops eventually got eyes on the suspected rebel camp, which they calculated to be held by 17 militia fighters, with a 12 metre long shipping container sat nearby, which local civilians are said to be the makeshift prison being used for the hostages. Assessing their available options and with full priority given to the safety of the hostages, the rangers decided to seize the area through non-lethal methods and to only open fire on the enemy fighters if absolutely necessary to reduce the risk of civilian casualties. Consequently, with all the teams in position, the Irish troops commenced their assault, emerging from the undergrowth directly adjacent to the camp and storming in from multiple points, causing a momentary shock to the militia fighters who, on realising what was happening, began to disperse into the dense woodland at the rear of the camp, from where they fled across the Liberian border and into neighbouring Guinea. Meanwhile, two of the fighters, who were later identified to be the senior rebel commanders of the area, dropped their rifles and surrendered to the rangers, who, within the space of a couple of minutes, had seized the rebel camp without firing a single shot from their rifles. As soon as the area was declared clear, several rangers moved forward and opened the shipping container, in which they found 35 hostages crammed inside, including men, women and children, many of whom showed visible signs of torture and abuse at the hands of the militia fighters. A quick assessment of the hostages led to the Irish troops concluding that medical assistance was needed, resulting in the 35 hostages being moved to a nearby hospital, where they received medical treatment and support from both Liberian and UN doctors. At the same time, the two captured militia commanders were transferred to a local police station where they were held until the 7th of January 
when they were sent to Monrovia to be questioned and dealt with accordingly by the Liberian authorities. With the conclusion of the rescue operation, the 20 Irish Rangers of the Army Ranger Wing returned to their base near the capital city, as news of the successful mission began to reach officials in Ireland and the international community, with the Irish Minister for Defence, Michael Smith, paying tribute to the valour displayed by the Rangers. I am delighted that the brave and decisive action by our troops has led to these people being rescued from a dangerous situation and uncertain fate. We are proud of their success.